Welcome to the Press Start Podcast. I'm Keith. I'm joined by Naj, Andy, Curtis, and Colton. What's up? Yo. Hey. Big news Hi. in gaming this week. The Star Wars Battlefront beta has been out for a little while, about like a week or so now. And it seems like everybody has an opinion on the game. Uh, Forbes says it's the game we've been waiting for. The Verge says that it's the dad rock of video games. So I basically just wanted to uh, to see how you guys thought of it. So what do you think about the game? Uh, I mean, I was really impressed by it. Uh, I knew I was going to buy the game regardless because I have such fond memories of Battlefront 1 and 2. But actually getting my hands on the game, uh, it's kind of funny because me and my girlfriend are going through Star Wars like right now so she can be ready for when the new one comes what, out in December. With the movies? Yeah, 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 like the movies. And we just I watched the Empire. The, I, I bought the Blu-ray pack. We, we are with all six. We are them. also going through the Star Wars saga uh, right now. So nice. it's awesome. We're, I'm, I'm, show, I'm showing her just original because you don't need that. Uh, prequel bullshit. Machete cut. Machete cut. Machete cuts are on Blu-ray though. Well, I mean, but you I could just do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're with us, Naj. But no, so we've been going through this, and we went through Empire the day before the beta started. And what impressed me so much was how much Hoth they got, like, they captured it, felt like. Because visually, it was exactly what I remember. And they got the yep. sounds right, the chaos of the battle. And it just felt so, like, I'm going to say this a lot, I feel like, today. But authentic is what I really felt playing this. It wasn't like a battlefield game skinned with Star Wars stuff, it felt like its own unique thing, and I was just really impressed by it, honestly. So, what would you... (laughs) (laughs) So, how would you respond to the criticisms? Because a lot of game journalists are saying that it's basically, like, Star Wars skinned Battlefield. How would you respond to that? I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's really simplifying it. Uh, That definitely comes when it's the Battlefield developer. Like, people would say... The next game the Call of Duty developers make or whatever, they're going to say, oh, it's just the Call of Duty version of blank, but yeah, or skinned, whatever kind of thing. So that's going to come with any kind of game. Um, I feel like they definitely did enough to make it feel different, both from Battlefield and the old Battlefront games. So it's its own unique thing, I feel like. So, I don't know, it, maybe it was because they got a bad reaction to it being in beta, but like I feel when the game comes out, people aren't going to be saying that as much. Right. And you stated to me before that you are a, uh, a huge Star Wars fan, Colton, uh, right? Yes, I'm a Star Wars Fuck junkie. Her. So how are you easy, enjoying the Battlefront Easy there, beta? big boss. <laughs> 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 how are you liking the beta so far? I love the beta. I love everything about it. I love the lasers. <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> Naj is making a blowjob motion with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that the game... Uh, justifies a sixty-dollar price tag. Yes, uh, a With lot. Of no campaign, no Galactic Conquest, no anything like that. Like, do you think that? Yeah, I feel like there's enough game modes there. I'm a little disappointed with the weapon choices. Hopefully, there's more. I know there's going to be different selection in characters. Um, they didn't unlock that feature in the beta, but a lot of people have been waiting for this game since it's been out for PS2 because the PSP version sucked. So wasn't that bad. But. Wasn't <laughs> that, it was, wasn't about like, it, was a, it was fine, but it was one bad. analog wasn't stick is hard to play. Exactly. Right well, yeah, right it, obviously it was. But it was yeah, a lot of people have been waiting, so I feel like sixty dollars is the right price for it. Curtis, what about you? What do you think? I, I'm kind of on the fence. Mm. I'm, but like, I was dead set on not getting it because I was super afraid of, well, well obviously having no campaign and. Uh, the uh, the issue of is it just going to be a, a Star Wars skin Battlefield? But after playing Walker Assault on the beta, I'm sold on this game completely, absolutely, yeah, completely <laughs> sold on. I'm gonna buy it. It's already like it's already. Wait, you're gonna coming. buy it? Absolutely gonna buy it. Right the to, day it comes uh, out. This is I, I, to told, right I told him yeah, that. Okay. I was like, you're I'm gonna have to. Now, now. It's it's actually cause a major stressor on myself because I, I didn't want to shell out sixty dollars for this game, but now I'm gonna. So. Rip bank account. It's yeah, it's it's coming out. All right, Naj, throw down. <laughs> what do you got? Well, Shade no, time. I'm I'm not gonna shit on the game because it's it, it's a pretty good game. I mean, especially for me being a a guy who hasn't watched any Star Wars. I don't know anything about Star Wars. Like I, I'm just a a guy who loves first person shooters. But I mean, it doesn't. It, it looks it looks like Battlefield. It's beautiful. It's, it's like the the maps are, are very big. The, like the snow, the snow looks amazing. amazing. Yeah. But my thing is, is that I don't know. Like you can, I don't, I don't care how much online content you have. You cannot justify a six dollar price tag without a single player campaign. You just can't do it because at some point, 
Titanfall. I exactly. <laughs> I mean, but Titan, I, Titanfall was uh, it got 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 it in its own way just from the fact that it didn't have enough content to begin right. with. Like mm. you had like uh, you had you didn't have any more than ten guns on that game if you had even had ten guns. But guess what? Titanfall's not Star Wars. Well, yes, exactly. and I I put that into consideration when I you know thought about this podcast, but. I just think, I don't know, like, I'm just used to having a single player campaign with, you know, with tons of voice acting, you know, good lines, good cinematics, and along with the gameplay to go with it. And online has always been something that's extra for me. Like, once I'm done the campaign, now I can extend my gameplay experience by playing online. And I just don't, I just don't, and the fucking season passed, man. <laughs> I mean, I, well, I, we'll I, get to that I, in a minute. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I understand it's something completely different, but. That's a that's a hundred and ten dollars for a video game. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you said that you're a big Call of Duty guy, big first person shooter guy. Yes. Do you play this game in first person mode or do you go third person? Uh, I haven't even touched third person mode at all. Really. And one thing that I noticed about this game that kind of was like you know just it, it's very easy. And I don't know if that's just by design or you know it's just, it's just because maybe it, you weren't playing the objective. Yeah. Maybe no. if you yeah. play the objective, <laughs> you don't play the. You objective. get slaughtered when you're the uh, rebels, man. Well. Yeah. Not, he not does even, nothing but shoot not even turns no, just, Yeah, he sits back and shoots people. <laughs> not even in terms of just playing the objective. Like, the fact that I can sit across the map and just, you know, pick people apart with an assault rifle, like, it... it it's it, a blaster. It, it's laser. It's blaster. not going to be any bullet drop. Yeah. yeah. And maybe I'm just not, a, a, you know, a, a sci-fi shooter type of person, but I don't know. It, it, it bothers me that... It, you know, that it's not Battlefield. See, I thought the guns were kind of interesting just because, like, you talk about no bullet drop. Damn, we also have an issue with aiming, like when you actually aim down the sights, because I felt like that was much more detrimental, because without yeah. like weapon spread or bullet drop, you could just aim like totally normally, which right. does make it a bit easier, but then when you actually try and like aim down the sights, it got harder, and I thought yeah, that was aiming down the sights really isn't that easy. Yeah. No. That's why I, I think that third person has a huge advantage, because mm, like, because yeah. yeah, first person, too. like, first person looks a lot better, because you're like, oh shit, you're like, this is awesome. Um, but then once you ADS, you're just like, I, I just turn my sensitivity way down for this game. Yeah. Like, way down. And, like, third person mode, it's just like, okay, you know, you can kind of hide behind shit and then just kind of, like, peek over with your camera. You know, you can basically just see everything. So it's kind of, third person's kind of OP, in my opinion. But I really thought that, like, aiming was super hard in first person, which kind of makes me think that third person is a little bit better. I, I mean, I, that's a, I didn't get a chance to play the third person at all just because I just, you know, I'm in love with first person. So, you know. <laughs> So balance issues. It is a beta. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, it's those things are going to be worked have, out have, eventually. Have any of us won a match being the rebels? Yep. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Really. I've it's lost. Playing, it's I've, called playing the objective. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've <laughs> lost <laughs> matches as the Imperials. Whatever. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> not fun. Yeah. You go in expecting a win, and it's mm-hmm. just then when it doesn't happen, it's really disappointing. Like I actually. think the issue is that you know everyone judged so much on first, second date things, but then everyone was like, oh wait, so this is what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. And then you saw a lot more rebel wins. I feel like yeah. going in game modes like that would definitely you know. And I think that that's only one mode also. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. And I think, I think it's you know, accurate how that would. Yeah. How that's that true. battle would play movie, out because mm-hmm. yeah. the rebels are definitely going to be at a disadvantage there. Right. In the movie, they were at a disadvantage. Yeah, the right. whole battle is just yeah. a giant clusterfuck. But right. like, yeah. it does feel much more rewarding when like everyone actually works together on the rebel right. side and gets that victory. It's die for the cause. But I mean, it's think about it. Great. This is the reason why they have the beta. You know, just to make right. sure mm-hmm. you know, if there's any problems. Which you know, that thing has been all over Reddit. It's been all over. Oh, you know, all like over. Yeah. Every, yeah. Right. every yeah. forum. So I mean, they obviously know that it's imbalanced. So I'm sure that by the time the game releases, it's it's going to be. Fixed. But even getting like your butt whooped as the rebels or whatever, I still enjoyed it. Yeah, like yeah. it felt. I don't know, it, this is gonna sound weird. Maybe it's not like gamey, but like it felt more authentic to lose the rebels because like <laughs> yeah, they're, they're we're getting literally getting assaulted like by yeah adats and all these troops, and it's like well, no shit, we're gonna lose. But like at least you know, it felt fun. One positive I will say about the game is that the flying compared to like you know Battlefield mm-hmm. is is so much more. It's, it's easy to learn, especially without the, without a tutorial. And it was much more satisfying too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, flying in Battlefield was like its own Near game. Possible, it, it, yeah. It, yeah. It's literally like Holy if shit. if you have somebody on your team in Battlefield that knows how to fly a it's, jet it's or how to go out there, like mm-hmm. it, it, it's, it's over. Like your, your your team is in good hands. Me flying in that game was always I was like, oh boy, a jet. I'd get in, I'd like fly around for a bit, and I just Boom. like crash into something. Every time, I just offered nothing. To That's my how team I was at first minutes. with Battlefront, though, because I mean I didn't really play Battlefield that much, so I don't know if the controls are similar or not. But yeah, 
but uh, whenever I, mean, I, I think they're simpler, honestly. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're much more simpler. They? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much more but, simpler. But like in like a good way. But yeah, once like I got into the X Wing on Battlefront, like I'm flying all over the place, just diving right into the ground because I'm just trying to get yeah, used to the controls. I still, I still do that. I'm awful at but it. But now I'm finally <laughs> getting used to the controls well. and I'm just having a blast just torturing Did people on the ground. Did play in first person mode on the vehicles or whatever? Yes. yes. The, it, it is so much, dope it is so the, much fun. The sound effects in the side of the I know, are right? amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. It, it, the sound design really in that whole thing. game is mm-hmm. just so mm-hmm. awesome. That's it one is, of the things yeah. I, I I really noticed. Like the sound design the is incredible. The thermal detonator. Oh my gosh. The motor thing where goes... Yeah. Just annihilate. And even the... I like the score. I like the I like the music they use. You know, yeah. I think I, I need to get used to the new stuff because I'm yeah. so old to like it being right, yeah. going to pull stuff from Star Wars, but it's a video game. They need yeah. many music right, and all no, those different yeah, things. Yeah. So I need to get used to the new stuff, but it definitely does feel like it could be in that same yeah. like universe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The UI I thought was pretty interesting like how See, it, it's, it's so streamlined like, and just smooth it, it, I will it's so clean like it's very, very clean. It's yeah. like oddly clean. I was surprised by that. I really really like it. And oh, I, I like the nah. little touch they have, like you know, at the end of a match, how they you know show like the top players uh, in each yeah. category. Like I, that's not that's a neat little touch. Mm. Right? It all just looks very clean. Yeah, it runs yeah. incredibly smooth too. I it know. Runs how, so how does it, how does it run on PC? So good. Really? <laughs> so good. yeah, because I mean, uh, aside from you know the occasional you know lagging issues, which is being online. I mean, it runs mm-hmm. it runs perfectly. Yeah, I didn't get the lag issues. It was just sixty frames, totally crisp, no issues. Is it in sixty frames? It's in sixty, I, it's in 60 wow. frames. Wow, that's, that's gorgeous. Crazy. You can tell when you can tell is really with the explosions because all the particles and everything going yep. on. You're like, oh, that's a lot going on at once. That's sixty, 60 frames. frames. Unfortunately, it's only seven twenty p on. The Xbox One, oh, which still looks fine though. Yeah, yeah, 720p, 1080p doesn't matter as long as they got the 60 <laughs> frames. It's all that matters. Man. It matters. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, 60 frames. Once you go 60, you don't go back. <laughs> That is the dumbest thing I heard. <laughs> yeah, it's true though. It's true. I mean, yeah. the game just looks so good. I mean, I just mm-hmm. it, it looks great. It runs great. Um, I I went into it wanting to hate it. Right. Because I'm one of those mm. people. I. <laughs> I wanted to hate the game so bad. I was like, you know, I'm like, I remember my old Star Wars Battlefront 2 and it was so fun. It was this, you know, as I'm playing it, I'm like bitter, like, what can I hate about this? And it pleasantly surprised me. I mean, I, was, yeah. you know, like, I, there are some issues with it. Um, the, the whole, like, hand system, yeah. the way that you pick up power-ups is kind of weird to me. Yeah, that, um, that, that was kind of awkward to me. The fact that I can just, you know, walk up to a power-up and just become some overpowered <laughs> machine or something like that. But it, the it, hero power-ups aren't really... They're, they're super uncommon. Yeah, they're super... They're, yeah. like, in different mm-hmm. spots throughout mm-hmm. the map. Yeah. And that's the point. At I different mean, like, stages. If you remember so uh, in in Battlefront 2, it was... You, you could set it to the person with the most kills, the person with the most deaths, right. or just random at, like, 10 minutes. And whoever got, like, the Jedi or the Sith was just, like, like it's time. You know, like, mm-hmm. well, once you got that, you just went around killing everything. You know, it's, it's supposed to be imbalanced. Yeah. That's... Yeah. And I think, I mean, for maybe for heroes, that's definitely more of the case. But with vehicles, I like that more because one of the most frustrating moments in the old Battlefront games is that whenever vehicles are out, like, there's no vehicles wherever you spawn or whatever, you're just kind of sitting there waiting for them to, like, respawn in or whatever, and it takes you out of the whole match. Meanwhile, here it's like, okay, I'm going to be in this match. If I find a vehicle, awesome. If I don't, I'm just going to be a regular foot soldier and keep in the fight. And I think that's much more important than, like, you know... I agree. Yeah. Are the spawns for those random, or do they come around um, like around objectives once you take? Them? They're more random, I found. Well, yeah, I've noticed a couple spots where like I keyed on, keyed in on like where the interceptor would be a couple mm-hmm. times, but yeah. no, mostly mostly random, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because there's definitely like I think it's like a whole area where they spawn in. Yeah. Because there's definitely like a lot of them that spawn definitely in the beginning. Where you are. Definitely in the beginning. They yeah. Have specific you spots. Kinda, yeah, mm-hmm. you can def- definitely key them out there. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't talked about drop pod mode at all because we talked so much about how great. And Hunters. survival mode. And survival okay. mode. Survival right. mode. We need to definitely talk about because I think as far as the single player stuff goes, concerns or whatever, I think they're definitely addressing that. It's just not with a regular campaign because regular campaign they need to devote a whole. They need to make it some kind of story, which Battlefront 2 they did with the whole 501st thing, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. But if you remember, Battlefront 1 had no story whatsoever, yeah. so they totally got by without it. Here, they just announced a bunch of different like single player modes you can play as heroes or different kind of survival modes stuff like that. So I think that's what you're going to get for your like single player concerns. Oh, man. So uh, one of the main <laughs> criticisms of the game so far has been the fact that like game modes are kind of restricted to maps. At mm-hmm, first, yeah. I didn't like that. I was like, that's stupid. I should be able to play anything on any map. But kind of like after I played it, um, it seems like they really kind of got that down. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah, a, a lot of games do that now. Yeah. I mean, the only game that probably doesn't do that now is Call of Duty. I mean, any game mode on Call of Duty, you can play on any map. But, I mean, the game modes are kind of, they get stale right. real fast. But, but um, uh, like Andy was talking about, playing Capture the Flag on Hoth would just be ridiculous. Because, you know, stupid. you just yeah, walk out right in the middle, you get sniped. You know, nobody would ever win that. Yeah. Um, the uh, the drop pod map was actually like it was so cool because at first mm -hmm. I was like ah, there's too many tunnels and everything and I was like wait it's kind of the random moments. little pits with like those little pussy don't go God. in the exactly. pits <laughs> don't go in the pits like it's still a mini game and just don't <laughs> fucking fuck off pit and then you go back <laughs> to the game I hate it every single time but, yeah, but uh, I I agree with you like I I I went into this game hate hating that aspect of it but it, they did it for a reason and they have it down pat mm -hmm. it's it's pleasantly surprised me so no. far. Like I, I didn't think that I was gonna like it, and I went into it wanting to hate it, just actively wanting it to fail. And now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm probably not gonna buy it unless it goes down to 30, 40 bucks. Listen, my shopping list is pretty extensive. <laughs> it, it's pretty like this, mm -hmm. li like literally, like we this summer of gaming was like you know the drought was real, and now it's just like a flood of everything. So, mm -hmm. how do you guys think it compares to other upcoming games this holiday season? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, you can't ask me that question because I'm buying WWE. I mean, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, WWE's I, coming out. I actually, I actually like that question because I mean, this, like, like I just said, this summer was literally, I mean, it was just just The Witcher, and that's you know probably you know, one that's of the. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, our, our fuck Arkham Knight. <laughs> 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 I mean, but that's another story. But The Witcher and the Arkham Knight were, were this summer, but other than that, it was a real drought. So I mean, you got you have Star Wars Battlefront. Fallout 4 and Halo and Halo 5. Those are, you know, your th your big three for the holiday season. Mm. And no Assassin's Creed. No, no, <laughs> no, Assassin's Creed. no. Uh, we're done with that. Assassin's we're Creed is in the same class of Call of Duty now. I mean, like it's still that game, but I mean, it, you, you, it just goes right over your head now. See, like, the anger's so really couldn't tell I was doing sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. But yeah, I, I, be, I be, between you know Fallout 4, Star Wars Battlefront. And Halo Five coming out, it's just it's it's ridiculous right now. But mm -hmm. I I don't think I I I don't think it, it stands up a stand a chance against Fallout Four at all. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Both those games are going to be sixty bucks when they come no, out. Fallout Four, you're talking like that's already a game of the year contender. Already. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I mean, there's so much hype around that game. And honestly, I, I don't I don't think it stands up. I don't think it stands up to The Witcher or Metal Gear to be honest with you. What? Battlefront. Oh, Battlefront. Uh, no. Yeah. But no. I mean, that's multiplayer oriented. That game is right. stand And I think we're going to see more of this in the future. Uh, yeah. And if you. you want to buy the full game, it's going to cost you sixty dollars plus what was just announced yesterday, another fifty dollars for the season pass, <sighs> season pass. Which in itself is its own discussion. But do, like, do you think that you could see yourself spending a hundred and ten dollars on a multiplayer? If it was Metal Gear, that's it. Multiplayer only, though. If Metal Gear had no single player, well, that wouldn't make any sense. A Metal Gear game without, <laughs> you know, a story. That, but that would just you be. Answer the question. Say never, though. But, <laughs> never. but we no, know, we don't I, know where it's going. Kojima's gone. You yeah, know. Kojima's gone. That's I mean, very well made. No, you're online. I mean, too. but coming soon. Speaking on <laughs> Battlefront, a multiplayer only game. No, absolutely not. I can't. I. I mean, this is, it's a situation where I would pick and choose the, the, the DLC that I wanted. I mean, and this is assuming that they are going to release everything individually. That's in the season pass. We don't know who's in the season pass yet, but no way. I mean, of course they're going to. Like they like they want the season pass money, but if they're going to get money for people that won't get the season pass, of course they're going to make it individually, yeah, like for sale. Hundred ten bucks for a multiplayer only game. That mm -hmm. that's 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 a, that's a steep. steep. That's very steep. See, the question is, what is in the multiplayer season pass? Because I'm guessing it's a bunch skins of skins and maps. Well, here's skins the thing: it's <laughs> new skins and maps. But I bet there's gonna be a lot of content from Episode Seven, which they can't just outright release right. with the right. game. Because that comes out. And what? if it's Movies Episode Seven stuff, I, I actually, I actually people agree buy, with people that. People will buy yeah. it up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I think people are gonna buy it up regardless because oh, yeah. it's fucking Star Wars. It's yeah. Star Wars, like, and, and people have been waiting for Battlefront for a long, long but think about long it, time. Back, baby. They don't have to release a you know like Star Wars Seven licensed game because all they have to do is just release their Star Wars Seven DLC pack. Exactly. exactly. People are just gonna buy the shit out of it. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So, yeah. But like I said, like I, I agree with Colton on it. The fact that it's Star Wars, people are gonna buy it because if it was Metal Gear, I would buy it. So I mean, yeah. it is what it is. Mm. So, uh, any last thoughts about the game? I mean, the the, the games the game's awesome. Like, I like the game. It, it's, it's more than Battlefield. Like, everyone is saying it's just 
you know, Battlefield and Star Wars paint is wrong. And even someone that doesn't watch Star Wars at all, like I, like, I can feel, I, I feel immersed in it. Like I feel as though this is like, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's authentic enough for, for the hardcore fans. But I, I had fun with it, but I just wouldn't pay sixty dollars for it. So, are you gonna pick it up this holiday season? No, nope, not at all. Curtis? Uh. Mm, probably yeah <laughs> probably definitely probably here, definitely mm. we'll get we'll get everything else first though we're gonna get fallout maybe wrestling's Halo. coming out man well i gotta get wrestling exactly <laughs> here we go i mean i'm honestly as soon as i get home i got some time to kill on just go pre-order it now because <laughs> like, cause, like <laughs> i was already gonna get it you but, have like, to pre-order it bro pre-orders I mean, mean nothing pre -order, they, you they pre-order extra stuff in pre-order or whatever apparently extra skins extra, 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 no, extra, extra guns extra skins and men no extra guns motherfucker guns actually change the way you play yeah but in that game it's basically just gun skins because all the guns I will pay for Star Wars skins, skins. I will games. pay for it enough with me I'll get it whatever but no like I was already convinced to get it and like what I'm really happy to see is that it's not just another Battlefront it's not a Battlefield skin it feels like it's own unique Star Wars authentic experience and just I'm super excited about it Um, I mean the beta can have a little bit more to show like different modes and stuff i mean it's a beta you, you can't get mad at that no yeah, it's yeah, not mad yeah. mad it's more like i feel like a lot of people's like frustration with or whatever i would have might have been like a little bit tempered if they had like one more game mode like even just that one the aerial combat one if they just had that people would have been super sold on that right yeah but yeah just super excited for it uh not game of the year content probably but you know just still a really, really great looking game. Super excited for it. What about you, Warner? Uh, I will definitely buy it, but first I will buy wrestling. I already, <laughs> I already pre-ordered Halo. Yeah. I already pre-ordered Halo. Wait, yeah, you getting Fallout? You're getting Fallout. There's no way. It, there's no way. You're gonna never, say no I, until it releases. You're gonna watch it on Twitch and you're gonna go mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, I want it. You're buying Fallout. You bought no Dragon way. Ball Z. You're gonna so wait for the first update. Fallout. that says all the there, fucking open world. There's like, no way. There's fixed. no way that you don't buy Fallout. Yeah. I never bought a Fallout game before. You've never bought a Fallout game before? No. Star Wars discussion I'm, over. You've never bought a Fallout <laughs> game before. I've never bought one, but I've played them. So yeah. it's, you know, exactly. I, I see where he's going. I watched my friend play it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, it seems like we're all pretty unanimous on, you know, at least. Wait, what about you? Are you buying it? Eh. Go you try know, it. He said. <laughs> he said if it drops, if it drops. If it drops in price, then yeah. $60, there's no way I can justify it. Um, because none of like, I don't think any of my friends are really going to be playing it. Mm. Um, See, that helped too. All, all my friends are playing with me during the beta, so like I'm definitely and, more encouraged to get and it. And that's one of the things. Like Whenever you're on a console, you go, you see all your friends, and you look down the list, and you're just like, Battlefront, 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 Battlefront. And you're like, mm -hmm. well, looks what I, <laughs> this is what I'm buying. <laughs> yeah. um, so I, I don't think Destiny. that I'm going to Destiny it did that to me. <laughs> Destiny oh, did that to me hard. That's the yeah, fucking fuck worst. Destiny, man. Fuck Destiny. So it seems like three out of five of us are going to be buying it on release. Um, yeah, I mean, so far, it... It looks pretty good. Oh. Uh, I we're just gonna have to wait and see what the other five game modes are. Five, right? There was like five or six or whatever at least. All That's right. promising. I yeah, like that. That's I promising. thought there was a little bit more. Well, there's well, more there's, of that, and there's more like maps. Then there's more survival those. maps. And there's more survival maps, and there's more single player stuff too. Yeah. Man, so well, that's promising, but exactly. still no sixty dollars. That's just not. You'll come happen. around. You'll come around. <laughs> so Star Wars Battlefront releases on November seventeenth for PlayStation Four, Xbox One. And PC. Go PC. PC <laughs> fanboy represented. Oh, well, as always, thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time.